What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Sid. Welcome to Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your July 2021 love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this will resonate in reference to someone that you are currently interested in, someone you are currently dating or crushing on, a spouse, or even an ex. So take it how it resonates. If you are new here, please make sure that you leave a like for your girl, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you're notified whenever a new Pisces reading is released. If you are not new here, thank you all so much for returning. Regardless of which group you fall into, all of your viewership and support is greatly appreciated. If anyone is interested in personal readings, you can hit me up on my website at www.savvysentient.com. You can book a reading there. And that information will be linked in the description box below, along with all of my other social media. All right, let's get into your reading, Pisces. You are the last, but absolutely not the least. All right. Now, what I will say, Pisces, is during the meditation, what I saw there kind of bothered me a little bit. Because <laughs> I don't want that for you, love. All right, so in the meditation... I saw like a fish being pulled out of the water as if, you know, someone caught it on a boat, a very big fish. So um, it was like caught up by its mouth, you know, as fish typically are, and it just <laughs> wiggling in the air, fish out of water, caught up by its mouth, um, hooked by the mouth. Um, and I feel like that may be the way a person is making you feel right now like a fish out of water um struggling to breathe like really out of your element um yeah i feel like that's how someone is making you feel so let's see what this reading brings obviously that's not the most positive way to start out but if you've been watching me, then you know I'm going to bring you the real. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. And we're going to navigate this thing, okay, as a team. We're friends, Pisces. All right, overall energy for Pisces. Overall energy for Pisces in love. We have two coming out. We have the strength card. So the strength card is a card of compassion. It is a card of getting what you want through compassion and not force uh not using brute force okay this is for me as a reader a card of finesse all right we also have the seven of pinnacles this is in the card of evaluation taking stock of what you all have grown all right the seeds have been planted you've sown them are you happy with the harvest Okay, so evaluation, are you happy with the harvest? And if not, how do you get what you want? How do you get what you want, Pisces? All right. So we're also going to get a love oracle from the Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. This will be the last time you see this deck used in any of my readings. Currently shopping a new love oracle for reasons. If you know, you know. Messages for Pisces. All right, we actually have two coming out. We have attraction and unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. And then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So you may be attracted to someone who is not reciprocating. That's making you feel like a fish out of water, making you feel out of your element. You may not be used to this, okay? What do you mean you don't reciprocate? I'm me. I'm Pisces. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with the Island Time Wellness deck. Or maybe um, someone is chasing you and you're not checking for them. <laughs> you're trying to trying to attract something else. All right, messages for Pisces. That flipped over as well. 
Okay, so we have four cards coming out. The first one to hit the table says wedding rings. So this is a situation that may involve or may have involved marriage. This can also be a long time partnership. You may not have necessarily been married, but um, this could be someone you are with long term. We also have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Um, we have the engagement ring as well. <laughs> engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, and completion. So both engagement and wedding rings coming out. Rings everywhere. And then we have karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So... Um, you may have had a engagement that didn't work out. Maybe that was karmic, but now you've moved on to another situation that's um, giving you unconditional love and you're ready to wed that person, possibly. Just a scenario for somebody. doesn't have to be a story. But let's see how your person is feeling about you, Pisces. The person that you are currently thinking about... Whoever's on your mind, let's see how they are viewing this connection. All right. It's too many. How does Pisces person feel about the connection? Okay, um, too many cards trying to come out. I'm taking the two on the top. All right, and Pisces, how do you feel about this person? <laughs> oh, oh my. Okay, Pisces. So I think it's you with the unrequited love, boo-boo. Yeah. Dang, Pisces. Did not see that coming. No no offense, but y'all so watery and so emotional that I thought it was you that was all in love. One more card for Pisces. Hmm. What is the mutual, the energy and the mutual energy? Okay, um, let's talk. Pisces, on your person side, we have the Ace of Hazards and the Three of Wands. So if this person wants a new beginning with you. They want stability with you and expansion. They want to grow with you. Okay, so they want to move forward. They see success with you. However, there's no movement in the situation. You all are at a stalemate. And I think that's because you're not reciprocating their energy. Um, <laughs> but this person sees you as their emperor and as their wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Like you tick all of their boxes. You are dominant they may see you as like a great father figure. If you're not um, a masculine energy, they may see you as just like really protective and embodying that divine masculine energy. But um, yeah, they see you as zaddy. <laughs> they see you as zaddy. If there's kids in the situation, you you were probably very good with their kids. Um but you are like everything that they ever wanted. So they see you as their wish fulfillment. And they want a new beginning with you. And they want expansion with you. But there's no movement in the situation. Um, on your side, Pisces, we have the lovers and the nine of hazards. Now, the way I read this together, the reason why I left is because the lovers is a card of choice. Yes, they are called the lovers and you would just automatically think like that's all about love, but it's not just about love. It's about having choices in love as well. And it looks like you've made the choice, Pisces. 
with the nine of hazards here being a card of independence to just step away. You made the, the choice to love yourself and be single. Okay. Um, and we also have the eight of cups here. And the eight of cups card is walking away. Like you've taken your emotions away from the situation, put them in that little suitcase and stepped in the name of love. <laughs> but it looks like you may have stepped towards someone from the past. You are moving away from this connection because there's somebody in the past with the six of cups that you want to be with. And I think that that may be why your love is unrequited. The mutual energy here is the queen of wands and the ten of swords. So while you all may have been very attracted to each other, um, there has been some type of betrayal which led to an ending. The betrayal could have been you walking away. It could have been the uh, feminine energy doing something uh, deceptive or hurtful. But there's clearly um, separation here it is the mutual energy. Uh, this relationship is very karmic. It was meant to teach you all lessons. Um, the lesson they learned, <laughs> it looks like the lesson they learned is, you know, that you were a good catch. No pun intended, Pisces. But uh, let's see what the Six of Cups is about. Let's see what the Six of Cups is about. Why the Six of Cups? Why the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups? Yeah, you want to work on something with somebody from the past. We have the Six of Cups and the Eight of Hazards. The Eight of Hazards is putting in a lot of work towards something. And it looks like you want to work on the past thing. And that's why this love is unrequited. All right, then. Good luck and Godspeed, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for the Moonology deck. Moonology, Moonology. What messages do we have for the Pisces? Messages for the Pisces. Who this came out for? These same cards came out for Capricorn, I think. I'm pretty sure I shuffled them. Okay, yeah. So, the first card says, look at the bigger picture. All right, take a step back. Look at the situation. Uh, make sure you're taking in all the details. Conclusions are within reach. There is going to be a resolution to whatever this is very soon. Um, it is time for you to take action. So whatever it is that you want, it is time for you to, to boss up and go for it. Um, we also have the... You showing up as the emperor. That's how they viewed you. And then the emperor, of course, is Aries energy, new moon in Aries, setting your intentions um, to take action, to, to boss up, to take control, control the situations. And then finally, your dreams need a practical plan, though. So whatever you're, you're planning to do, you're going to have to be very practical about it. Write it down. Make a checklist. I don't know. But um, if you're trying to work on something with someone from the past, you're going to have to take practical steps towards that. And you have to make sure that they're open to it as well. Ain't no need in making plans for a situation that's going to be unrequited again, except you're going to be on the receiving end. So make sure that the person from the past is open towards it, uh, to it, but then make a practical plan and make it happen. All right, uh, let's get some rebel messages for you. <laughs> Dang. Oh, what did this person do? Because the rebel is not even playing. This person is a humdinger. All right, so the first card that comes out from the Rebel deck says they broke they broke your heart. 
Fuck them. Fuck them. The next one says, get the fuck out of your head and get in your heart. It misses you. All right. Stop overthinking about this. Show yourself some love. All right. And then finally, laugh. <laughs> Where the fuck is your sense of humor? All right. So whatever it is that they did to you. I mean, just look at the situation. They did what they did, and now they're sitting here wishing for you, hoping for you, wanting you to come back, realizing that you was their wish fulfillment. So if that's not a cosmic-ass joke, I don't know what the fuck is. Go ahead and laugh, Pisces, because that's funny as hell. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Whatever they did, it made you walk away. It made you decide to be single. All right, what advice do we have for the Pisces Collective? Advice for the Pisces Collective. for the Pisces collective. I have some other cups here. <laughs> Yo, look. So it is time for you to start making plans on your abundance. That is your advice. Two of Wands is making plans, having choices. What's going to make you happy? What moves do you need to make? What's going to bring you abundance? What's going to make you feel free? All right. Making plans towards all of those things. And then the mother of cups in reverse, father of pinnacles in the upright. The reason I laughed, fuck love, get money. That's how I read this. <laughs> fuck love, get money. Work on your stability. Don't run back to whoever this was from the past. Work on your stability. First, get you together. Be the boss-ass person that you're trying to be. Don't focus on love right now. And then worry about all of that later, okay? So fuck love, get money. And that's my period. I think I might even call the reading fuck love, get money. I was going to call it fish out of water. I don't know. But anyways, Pisces, <laughs> that is your reading. If it resonates, please let me know how in the comments below because I would love to know because this is messy. What the hell did they do to you, friend? What did they do? Do I need to pull up? Can we fight them? I don't know. All right. But anyways, like, share, subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you, Pisces, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.